Hey guys, in this video we will be installing the Orthanc DICOM server in Windows 11. Orthanc is a free and open source lightweight DICOM server and um, you can find installers for it for Windows, Mac OS, um, there's a Linux installation and Docker installation option. You can also find the source code for this. Um, this is a GPL version 3 licensed. So let's go ahead and click on the Orthanc for Windows and let's download the 64-bit installer. And it seems that version 24.81 is the latest one. Looking at this Windows installer download amounts, it seems that has become quite a bit more popular to download it in late 23. So let's do download the latest version. It's about 113 megabytes for the installer. Let's double click on the installer to get the installation started. Okay, we need to press and run anyway. Click on next, accept the agreement, select the folder, the default is fine. And the data will go to C or think that's fine as well. You can choose which visualization plugins you want to install. Um, yeah, some of them are a bunch of GPL licensed, so they're not all under the same license. And also the database license are as well. Okay, let's click next. And install. And the installation is already done, so let's click finish. After the installation completes, you don't really see anything happening. But if you check in the task manager, you will see lightweight restful diagram server for medical imaging running. This takes up 70 megabytes. So this is the Ortang diagram servers service. And uh, the actual user interface uh, is a web user interface. So in the start menu, you should find a link for Orthanc Explorer. And this is the address localhost port 8042. And here you will find the user interface. But if you click on all studies, there won't be any studies to start with. So you need to import or upload some studies to see something in it. So to upload some DICOM images, you will need to download some first. So I, for example, just downloaded this uh, from the DICOM.office.de web page, the NEMA97CD.chip. After, I'll leave a link down below in the description for this one. After downloading that, you will need to extract it. So you can right click on the download and say extract all. And here we have the extracted package. It's a disk image file, but in Windows 11 at least, you can just double click on this and say open. And you can navigate into here. And it seems we have some ACFA and some GMS Philips uh, images in here. So, we can then go ahead and press in the Orthanc Explorer. We can press on the upload button and we can select files to upload and just navigate to this disk and select some, some images. Here is a CT and let's select all of these files, press open and then press on the Start Upload button. Okay, I think the upload did work. 
So then just click on lookup and we can select um, all studies or we can select all patients and we will see a list, list of uh, patients and studies here and we can let's select this this first one and here on the right hand side we have the study and we have multiple options so this installation came with the OHIF viewer this is also an open source viewer so we can just click here and then select basic viewer and in here we are able to view the image we can we can again see this is running on local host in in the same port just a different url um, we have open kitverse viewer and i think we can view the study here as well and there's stone web viewer so there are multiple viewers built into this one. This one it says Firefox prevented. We can click on op options, I'll allow pop-ups for local host. And, and we can view the study here as well. Uh, I think the OHI fever is, is a great option, so it's, it's really nice that it comes built in with this installer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.